Hey guys, I'm going to show you in this video my foundation routine. I use the Smooth Minerals line from Avon, the powder foundation, but I do it a different way. So, and then I also use the Glamouflage um, Hard Candy Heavy Duty Concealer. So that's what I use for my foundation routine. I'm also going to show you how I use the mineral blush. This is what I do for my foundation routine and also a really good way to cover up pimples. Um, now I don't have any makeup on which is really weird for me but I'm going to show you how to do it exactly the way I do it. So um, I don't know if everything will work the same for everyone else but this is what works best for me. Um, first what I do is I take the Glamouflage concealer, heavy duty concealer um, and I put those on my problem areas, on my blemishes and stuff like that. Now, I got the color, uh, light, I think? Yeah, I got the color light. So, if you're different skin tone, you might want a darker color. But, since my skin is really light right now, I'm using the light one. So, then I just take a um, concealer brush. This is uh, the EcoTools concealer brush. And then I just blend that in underneath my eyes and everywhere else I dotted. And if you feel like you need more concealer in certain places, just go for it. But that's pretty much where I put concealer. Oh, wait. And I just kind of spot check to make sure I've got all the areas that need to be concealed. Okay, so that's what I do for the concealer. Then I'm going to be doing a whole another video probably on the Smooth Minerals line from Avon. But I absolutely love them and I think you will too. Um, a common misconception that people think is that the mineral foundation will not cover as well as um, the liquid foundation. That's totally wrong because the deal with the deal with mineral foundation is that you have to layer it, put on enough till you feel like you're covered, or you have the good amount of coverage. So, and also a trick that I like to do is I like to take my kabuki brush, this is just a one mile kabuki brush, and the deal with mineral foundation is it's, it's like a it just goes on like a powder, but if you add a little water to your kabuki brush, make sure that's just wet on the tip, then you dip it in here, and then it's like a liquid consistency. I am going to be using another mirror to do this because I have to be closer, but this is what I do for my um, mineral foundation. Just put it on my face all over. And yes, over the concealer that I just did. Because this is the color of foundation that I'm going to be wearing.
Sorry guys, try not to get it in the way. <laughs> And because it's wet, it goes on like a liquid. And I feel like maybe it covers better. And of course there's going to be areas that aren't going to be as covered, but that's why we have concealers. So if you feel like um, still they're not totally covered, what you do is get more of your concealer. and put it on those areas and then you just do the foundation again <laughs> it's pr it's definitely a process it's it's not a necessarily quick thing I've gotten pretty quick at it because I have to do it before I go to work but I just make sure it's all blended in and put some so just the trick is laying so you make sure that it's all over and you have as much as you need and what's nice with this um, with the smooth minerals is that the packaging is really really nice what you do is you open it up like this um, before you open it, open it up, you can tip it upside down, and then it dispenses the product when you open it up. It dispenses a good amount of product. You don't need a lot when it comes to minerals. And another trick, another trick is that you need to pick a color that you think you probably are not, because you don't want to look like a ghost. <laughs> And I'm really light the way it is, so what I had to do was a light beige, which I had no clue I was going to be a light beige, but to me that seemed really dark. In the canister it looks pretty dark to me, and then on my face it looks perfect. It just gives you a good healthy glow and um, good coverage, I think. Um, so I haven't been using any other foundation because I have found that my skin has really, really improved in texture, in tone, and um, I get less blemishes and stuff like that, and I just really love it. Um, now I'm going to show you the Smooth Minerals Blush. So I got one called Perfect Plum and Rose Radiance. Now the Perfect Plum is just a really pretty deep plum color. Probably won't show up on camera, but it's just really pretty on your face. Maybe in the case it's like, wow, that looks kind of dark, but so I'm going to put on the Rose Radiance today, or not Rose Radiance. So I'm going to put on the Perfect Plum to show you what a nice pretty glow it gives. I'm going to put it on an angle brush. This is just a Face Secrets angle brush. I got it from like Sally Beauty and like a kit thing. My very first kit of brushes. So, um, so then you just put it in your cheeks. And already, can you see the glow? Can you see the pretty plum, plummy color? It's just really beautiful. And then I do the same on the other cheek. And as you can see, that just gives you a really pretty glow. So a little bit goes a long way with the mineral foundation and just the mineral line in general. Um, I also got three different lip glosses from the Smooth Mineral line. And there's a lot of different colors. And they're mineral 
So they've got to be good for your lips. I think they have shea butter in them. Right, so this is what the Smooth Minerals blush packaging looks like. It's just a um, sifter. So it's a little bit different than the other packaging. But um, it is the same size as the foundation round, I think. But it's shorter. So, well, you don't need as much product, that's for sure. The last step that I do is take another Smooth Minerals foundation, <clears throat> which is called Transparent Glow. If you have um, bare minerals or whatever, this is comparable to um, the Mineral Veil, I think it's called. So I take a little bit of that on a powder brush and then I put it all over my face. Kind of just sets it a little bit so it stays on longer. Um, so there are also, you know, other things in the Smooth Mineral line, like I said, lip glosses and stuff like that. There's eyeshadows. I haven't tried their eyeshadows. I love my e.l.f. mineral eyeshadows. And those are minerals, so I am still being good with that. And if you wanted to do bronzer instead of the blush, you can get the bronzer of this. I actually don't have it. I actually use the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer Natural Minerals in Sundance. So that's what I use for bronzer. But that is what I do for my foundation routine. And as you can see, I feel like it covers pretty well. the mineral line tell me what you think do your own foundation routine with it try it wet or dry whatever you like but I feel like the mineral foundation line is amazing in the long run mineral foundation is going to be a lot better for your skin than anything else you'll put on it and you will see a difference in your skin once you use this if you have an Avon representative just ask her about it let her give you a sample of it or come to your house and show you how it works and you'll find what's best for your skin tone, what's best for your skin, and maybe you'll find a new love of foundation. The best part is that this is fairly cheap. If you get it on sale when it's like a buy one get one free or buy one get one half price, it is, and they last a long time. I bought this like a few months ago and I still have quite a bit of product in it. Thanks for watching and I will be making more videos on the Smooth Minerals line and specific looks you can do and especially with the lip glosses. I will do a full review on that and probably even tutorials. Thanks for watching!